Um, now that goes on very nicely to the next question, which is what's the biggest challenge that you face and how have you overcome it? So Ross, if that's your challenge, then you'll, you don't have to answer this one, but. Um, th th there's individual stuff within there, but I'll, I'll let the others go first and then go from there. <laughs> Um, I mean, for myself, I've been quite lucky where it's been quite a smooth journey. So I started, I mean, big challenge was starting with absolutely no one. So most people come in as an employment advisor and they maybe get someone's old caseload. They get all of their members, which be 40 to 50. You start from there, you help them, you build a relationship. Whereas I came in with zero and had started from scratch. So the first month, I first month or two, I was really struggling for kind of things to do because when you've got 15 people on your caseload unless you see one a day for 15 days you're uh, you, you're going to be seeing them twice three times four times and it was learning to kind of not overkill the relationship but also keep them engaged it was quite tough but i worked hard just kind of cracked on got more people onto the caseload which then livened up a bit but the first month or two was that bit more of a struggle just as things started to speed up but kind of, as we alluded to earlier, patients just know that the schemes work for a reason. Anyone you talk to in a higher position, honestly, I swear 70 to 80% of them are in the graduate scheme at some point of their life. Mm -hmm. It works, just be patient, and it might be tough to start with, but things pick up pretty quick. I guess for myself, it was definitely in my first year, because like I said, I really struggled in my first year, kind of settling into that sales role. Um, and I remember, I think it was like three months in, I spoke to my manager's manager and I sat down with her and I was like, look, I'm really struggling. I don't know what I can do, but it feels like everything I do goes wrong. Like it just, everything's going against me. I don't know what to do with this. And she sat me down, she gave me some really good advice and she was like, look, you're just going to have to keep pushing. It's one of those roles that you can't have quick wins in. You just have to kind of sail through this bad patch and you will get to the other end. And I used to have this conversation with her like every other week because I was struggling so much. I was calling people, no one would answer. Um, and I remember like after all of that, as I was kind of moving on to my next role, I had my best period um, in Reed. It was like, I think I built like 20K or something and that was the best period I'd had. And everyone was like, look, you're leaving now, but you managed to kind of get through that part if you maybe stuck on to kind of do a bit more you would have been able to do even better but I think that for me was like the biggest challenge kind of fighting through that urge to just give up because there was a couple of people around me who would actually quit like as soon as they joined as even on entry level roles they just thought you know what I'm just going to quit but I was just like no I can't quit I have to keep pushing and I managed to get through to the other end so I thought that was really worth it and it really paid off for you if you yeah. came out with your best period as well yeah <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I think I, I'd echo that. I think something that I always found kind of profound was that one of the girls on my team sat me down on my first day and said, look, I'm just going to let you know, like, it might seem hard for the first sort of year or so, but it's always going to be worth it. Recruitment is always harder at the beginning. And for me, like, taking that advice and, and moving through that, I didn't even come from a manager. That just came from a colleague who, you know, wanted to help me out. Even through the rough patches, like, my team were always there saying, look, Give it a few more months, I promise things will pick up. You're doing the right things. And sort of from going through there, like I, I sort of went through a similar stage. It was like um, prior to, to lockdown, I think five months in a row, I had my best ever back to back and was still getting better and better. So, you know, it, it does come round in the end and, you know, it's, it's worth it sticking at it. Yeah, definitely. I think they say that it takes six months for you to fully understand the role or something. And I think you both have shown that that is definitely the case. And to you as well, Dylan, you come from probably the hardest position that an employment advisor has to come into. You've really shown that it didn't hold you back, which is obviously really good for you all.